Hello. Welcome back to my series. In the previous video, we have built our first animatronic and blender. And today, it's time to texture it. This video will have three parts. And those are. Classic texture. Get normal maps easy. Find PBR textures easy. Without wasting any more time, let's start. First, I will make the materials and assign them properly. Then I will make the classic Freddy texture. To see your materials go to the viewport shading. The endo is already texture, because I took the model from Sketchfab. We don't have proper materials yet. I will show you how to add them. A shortcut to the viewport shading is holding Z key, then move your cursor towards it. Select the part, then go to the material tab. Click new to make a new material. Time to give him the proper colors. Now, to add this to every part that you want, follow me, it's easy. First you want to select every part, the last one must be the one with the material. Click on object, link data and click link materials. There you have the first part of the materials. Time to add the second part of it. Time to make a black material. Before you say anything, I miss the ears on purpose, I need to show something important. The ears have two sections each, meaning I must add two materials for one even if they are joined together. Press the plus button in the material tab to add two materials. Now add both materials. As you can see, the ear has only one color, I will fix it right away. Enter the edit tab, by pressing the tab key. Select the vertex where you want your other material to appear. While selected, in the material tab, select your material, then click assign. If your model is symmetrical and properly made, I will show you a trick. This will help you select the vertex faster. Select the middle vertex, then hold left control, and press hold numbered plus. The top hat is the same. The last part, the teeth. He already looks better. Now I will add him some textures. I'll just get a few base color PNGs from the browser. Make sure to sort the base colors like this. It's the time to go to the shade editor. Select your part, then go on the top bar, and click shading. Here we have the node editor for materials. Press shift plus A, then search for image texture. Now, find your texture, and import it. Drag color to base color, and watch the magic happen. His texture appeared, it looks way better like this. My model has weird stretches on his texture, here is how to solve it. Enter edit mode, select all the vertex that you want to change. Go to this corner hold click and drag like this, to make another window. Go to this icon, and select UV editor. From here, press U key, then click on smart UV project. Problem solved. Do this for each part that you want. You can also scale in the UV editor to make it look bigger or smaller.
change the color of a texture, you use a hue node. But, don't use the hue node on white only textures like hair. When you increase the hue, nothing will happen. I'm using a blue texture now. Now I want to make something cool, like a pattern. First, let's add a texture coordinate and a mapping node. For the pattern, add a Voronoi texture. It already looks better. If you want to smooth those lines up, cover it with a noise texture. I will leave it like this, but if you want I'll make a video on it. Done. But the model looks a bit flat. To solve it, we need to use normal maps. If you don't know how to make normal maps, just like me here, come to this website. I found it a while ago. It's not the best thing, but it does a good job. You can see the difference when it's with the normal map, and without it. Simply, drag your image here, adjust it, and download. Let's go back to the shading editor. I will show you how normal maps work. First insert a normal map node. Add an image texture, and import your normal maps for each texture that you made. This is the example of the normal map, that you need to add, don't add base colors to it. Drag color to color of the normal map. You can see the difference but it looks weird, I will solve this. If your map doesn't look good with tangent space, you can change that. Change the strength of the map, to make the effect more visible or invisible. Quick note, I forgot to unwrap the lower torso of the animatronic and it looks weird. Do the same for all of the other textures. Make sure that you don't do the same mistake as I did. I put the base color in the normal map. And I didn't realize it for a while. To change that glossy effect, mess around with the metallic and roughness of the texture. You can see the difference it's no longer a flat texture. As the last important part, I will show you how to texture an eye. As I already have the base color, I will use that. First rotate it like this. Then add your eye image. If it looks like this, don't worry, here is how to fix that. Unwrap the model like before and position the vertex properly, so it looks natural. You might see some of these eye parts on the sides. To fix that, grab the vertex and position them over the white spots. And there you have it, your eye texture is ready to go. An easy way to get PBR textures, it's to search up the Blender Kit and This is the website, make sure that you have an account made for this. Now download the N. 
I already have this, so make sure to store the zip folder in a safe space before doing this. Now go to edit, then preferences. Go to add-ons. I already have it installed, and I will show you how you can get it too. Click the down arrow in the corner, then press install from disk. Now locate the file and install it in Blender. If you did it correctly there should be an unchecked box called Blender Kit. This is how it should look like. Let's test out some materials. Let's say, I want something for Freddy's boots. This is the right one. Press copy search item, then go back to Blender. This window should pop up, simply, drag the material on the part that you need. If the window doesn't pop up, make sure to click this icon here. The texture looks so much better, than the old top hat texture I had. Time to edit his boots. He looks so much better now. The good part about Blender Kit is that, they have some animatronic textures here too. Just write FNAF, and boom. We have the Nightmare, Phantom and Toy Animatronic too. I will just get the classic Freddy one. You can see, there is a small difference between mine and his. But I will keep my own animatronic texture. As you can see, our animatronic is no longer a boring grey character. And that's all for the basics. In the next video I will make a tutorial on the rake. If you practice enough you can achieve models like this. I might make a tutorial on the withered animatronics. If you got questions or suggestions let me know in the comments. See you in my next video. Bye.